My son Scotty, who's 28 now, in his late teens, developed unfortunately schizophrenia and uh, had a psychotic break. So his life's been a struggle ever since. And around his 25th birthday, he jumped off of a freeway overpass. He wasn't really trying to kill himself. He thought he was being chased by someone who was going to torture him. Unfortunately, living in Hawaii with me here, um, dealing with his schizophrenia unmedicated was virtually impossible. So it came down to um, a choice, either get medical treatment for his schizophrenia or he was going to have to live on his own. And he said, yeah, no problem. So he went, he went to the streets. Unfortunately, the National Alliance for Mental Illness, the NAMI a support group that I attended, uh, had recommended that I speak to IHS. And they put me in touch with Justin, who I believe supervises outreach. And he called, and his sense of reality and understanding what I was going through and his sense of humor right off the bat had me hooked. But for Scott in particular, his father called me up one day and you know, started talking to me, started explaining his story, started telling me the story about his son and how he had a conflict. There was like this, he couldn't connect with his son. So I was able to give food cards to Justin and clothes and some backpacks with some supplies. And Justin became kind of my, my guardian angel that would hand that off to Scotty on behalf of the family. Scott had some issues with him. You know, he, did, he didn't want to talk to us. He didn't want to engage us. Justin and then later Reyna and the other outreach team members just continued to build that relationship and that confidence that Scott had that he knew he was getting help and eventually he knew it was coming from me. So. Uh, after 20 months, uh, this last Father's Day, he actually started talking to me. I'd, I'd walk up to him at the beach in the park, and uh, he wasn't afraid, he wouldn't run away. And so we started to meet once or twice a week and just start to kind of rebuild that trust. When we treat people like they're people, somebody's relative, uh, we're able to make that connection. Uh, it's important. We've encountered guys 40, 50 times and nothing's changed. I'm getting chills just talking about it because my son, I don't believe, would be alive today had I not met Justin and Raina and the outreach workers who just never gave up on my son and gave our family hope. And without that, um, I can't imagine where we'd be today. Scott's story is only one story out of several hundred stories that we have in Waikiki. We're grateful it's become a successful one.